Hi guys, my name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTuber. Today I'm going to be doing not one, but two readathon TBRs. Now, my past month has been kind of hectic. Some uh, big life changes have been happening, and I've just been trying to... Whew, I've been I've been busy, but it's like a good kind of busy. It's not like... I, I am overwhelmed, but it's not like bad that I haven't been able to read. It's not like I'm depressed. I'm just doing a lot of changes and we'll get into that in another time. So yeah, like I said, today you're going to be getting two TBRs. So the first readathon that I'm participating in is going on right now. Uh, I know this is a really late TBR, but like I said, life has been crazy. So it is running from the 28th, which is today, till the 29th, which is tomorrow. So it's just the weekend. Um, it's conveniently happening during Dewey's 24 hour readathon, which I never participate in. But it's it's that same stretch basically. So if you didn't know, I participate in a readathon every single time that the next round comes around. I always participate in a readathon called a novel experience readathon. And this readathon is very, very special to me. I think this is like the sweetest readathon ever. And I try my hardest to always participate in it because it's really sweet. Um so this readathon is centered around um the loss of a fellow booktuber. Um, so this booktuber is no longer with us, so her friends created this readathon centered around her. And basically you just read for a whole weekend in her memory. Yeah, I get choked up just thinking about it. Um, I did not know this person on booktube personally, but um, I do really like participating in this because I think it is a great readathon that they have created just to just in memory of. I think it's really sweet. So yeah, I'm gonna give you that TBR first. So the first thing I want to do is finish up Black Souls. This is by Nicole Casterman. It is the second book after Black Hearts. Um, it is the backstory of Blackbeard. I'm almost finished. I think it's gonna get really really sad and I'm like not ready for it. So one of the challenges is to pick a book off of Carrie's TBR, a book that she didn't get the chance to read and read it for her. So I am going to pick Alice by Christina Henry because if you guys know me or if you're new to this channel, hi. Uh, Lost Boy was one of my favorite books of last year. I loved this book so, so much, and I cannot wait to read more of Christina Henry. She writes dark and twisted, and it's just, oh, this was so good, and I can't wait to read more. The next challenge is to read a book off of Carrie's Red List that she gave four or five stars to. I am going to pick Coraline for that by Neil Gaiman because I still haven't read this yet. It's really, really small and easy, and I really like the illustrations a lot. So um, I'm really excited to finally pick this up. So I'm going to read this one. So there you have it. That is my TBR for basically the weekend. Um, so hopefully I can get to all three of these. Fingers crossed. I am in like a little bit of a reading slump right now, so I really need to get out of it. But we will see. Hopefully I can. I really, really am excited about all of these. So... So the next readathon that I will be participating in starts on the 30th, so I wanted to get this TBR up as well, so we'll just mash them. Um, so it runs from the 30th to the 6th of May, I believe, and that is the Alphabathon readathon. I love this readathon, it's so much fun. So every month they pick another letter. I believe they're doing an all month long round in July, maybe? I am, I'm really bad with dates, but um, whatever my calendar says. So challenge number one is to read a book over 400 pages. I don't think I'll be participating in this one. I am going to be reading Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, but this has no F in the title or in the name, the author's name at all, so it won't count. But it will be reading 400 pages of it, because it is, I think it's over 400 pages. Challenge number two is to read a fantasy book, and I will be picking up City of a Thousand Dolls by Miriam Forrester. Challenge number three is a main character whose name begins with F. So I am going to pick The Body Reader by Anne Frazier. I have already read this. I've done a full review on my channel. I will try to link it, but I'll probably forget. Um, but uh, Anne Frazier is one of my favorite authors. I adore her. Um, and the sequel to Body Reader will be coming out in June, I believe. It usually comes out like around my birthday. Her books tend to for some reason, but I'm really, really excited about it. I loved this one and her writing just, she just keeps growing as a writer and she amazes me every time. But yeah, I'm going to pick this one up because the main character's name is Jude Fontani? Fontini? Fontani? I don't know. It begins with an F, so it counts. So challenge number four is to read a book with an F setting. I couldn't find an F setting. I failed. If I end up finding one throughout the week, then I will just throw it into my readathon. But as of right now, I can't find an F setting. Challenge number five is to read four books. I'll probably do that. That's pretty easy for a week. So challenge number six is a book recommended by a friend. So I am going to pick Note to Self by Connor Fran Franta. Spit it out, Izzy. 
spit it out. Um, <laughs> so this was recommended by Dylan over at Dylan's channel. I don't even know what his channel name is. How terrible is that? Um, but this was recommended. He recommended it. And while we are not really friends, I don't, he doesn't know who I am. I, I barely know who he is. That sounds really mean to say, but that's not what I mean. I just mean we don't interact. But I know who he is, kinda. I, I watch his channel a little bit here and there. But anyway, he recommended this book at one point, and that's why I bought it, and I still haven't read it yet. So, I mean, we're all, we're all friends on booktube, right? So he counts. So the last challenge is to read a book with an object on the cover that begins with F. I'm going to pick this Selected Poems by Robert Frost because it has like a forest on the front. See? Forest on the front. So I'm going to just throw in two more books because why not? You know, if I need something else to read. So I'm going to pick Firecracker by David Erson. This is Erson, I hope that's how you say it. He's a writer for New Girl and for SNL. So I hope this is going to be good. I'm not sure what it's about, but I picked it up anyway. So I'm going to read it. The next book I'm going to pick up, hopefully get to, is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. So that is all the books that I plan on reading for those two readathons. I know this video is kind of just a mess. Like I am. What is this? This is a hair. I'm shedding. Okay. Anyway, peace. I'm out. Goodbye. I'm sorry that you had to watch this. I'm sorry you did watch this. I am so sorry. I'm leaving. I am going. I am going to shut up now and go pay some student loans. Oh, student loans for a degree that I do not have.